Glenn, here we are on the eve of the Univac Premier League. You are now a PDC Premier League player. Just try and sum up what it's been like since you found out you were going to participate in the 2020 competition. Well, it was a lovely story, you know, the, the, the day. I mean, I, was, I had a feeling if there was 10 players, I might have just sneaked that 10th place. Um, but when I heard they were doing the challenger, I, I did think that Chizzy might have just sneaked ahead of me, um, if, if truth be told. I was pacing up and down on the day, so I went to Catrick Races. Uh, I, I told Mac Elkin, I said, don't ring me, I don't want to know, I want to watch it live uh, to get the same euphoria or disappointment like everybody else. But he rang me about five past seven and said, I just can't hold it in no longer. He said, you're in. What was that moment like when you found out? Uh, the next bit was I went, Susan, you know, my wife, Susan, and, and she screamed back, what? As if she, you know, she was like getting washed. So I said, "Oh, it doesn't matter." So, so for a couple of hours, I kept it to myself. It was, uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty amazing. And you know, you want to be an elite dart player uh, and, and joining the Premier League. It's, it seems a million miles away from that moment I played Adam Smith Neal at the World Masters, where in the final, 27 people watching, and I didn't want to be there. Uh, so now it's, you know, I'm playing in front of the, the biggest crowds and the best arenas and the best players in the world. It's like pinch me. You're talking about pinch yourself there. This time last year, you only just scraped through Q school by the skin of your teeth. Yeah. Now you're playing as one of the elite. Just what does that mean to you as a person? Well, for me as a person, it was just, you know, I put my reputation on the line. You know, I could have easily stayed in the BDO and won four or five titles, uh, you know, and it's just a shame to see what's happening with the BDO at the moment. But, you know, when I think how lucky it was when Des Jacklin made the announcement that the people going to Lakeside this year can also go to Q School. Because I'd have, I'd have played PDC three years ago, two years ago, I only wanted to win the Lakeside title once. Um, but obviously I was under contract that the £100,000 they'll take back off me. You know, and, and, and the rest of the story obviously there people know about. So it's great, it's just I do think I, I, I went on holiday after the Ali Pali and I, you know, sometimes when you're self-reflecting, you think, wow, what could have been? That Matty Denon dart, you know, three darts, double 16. It's unbelievable. Talking about reflection, the year you had in 2019, are there any regrets? Because you had lots of great opportunities, but is there a slight regret that you didn't convert one of them? Oh, yeah, I, I understand. What I say to people is I'm in my 50th year now. You know, I can't say no more. That was great experience, Blackpool. Oh, God, Dublin was amazing. I've got to grab them opportunities every, you know, now, you know, so it's, um, part of me was, I mean, let's be fair, Michael Smith beat me in the first session, you know, 8-2 up, I, I, I put that one to bed. I do think the one I, I maybe could have won was the Chizzy game, because that double off is definitely a leveller. Um, but some days you feel great, some you don't. You know, someone have offered me at the beginning of the season two pro, to, you know, pro tour titles, three semi-finals, you know, I would have snapped your hands off. Regrets? No. Uh, you haven't, um, I've got no regrets. Wishes? Uh, I would love to be a, a major champion, um, but regrets? No. Again, Michael Smith in Aberdeen. Yeah. Thoughts on that game and just looking forward to the whole Premier League day, getting to the hotel the night before and everything like that, that whole experience. Yeah, today feels real. Uh, you're interviewing me now at, you know, on the eve of the Masters. I'm the only one who's not in the Masters, so I've drove three hours, three and a half hours to get here and it's three and a half hours back. Uh, but it does feel real, you know, just watching Daryl, uh, just bumped into the lads now and uh, I'm in heavy practice at the moment, you know, twice a day, hour and a half a day, uh, so three hours in total. So, um, you know, one thing about me is that I'll always be ready, it's, you know, it's whether or not you can deliver on the night, but Aberdeen, Michael Smith, it's just so exciting. You touched on the worlds that you ran out of steam almost, that in that game you had nothing in the tank. Yeah. Fitness-wise, yep. have you started to put that in your plan into action, what you wanted? Yes, I've got to start with a 16 stone 11. I was hoping I was around about the 15 stone mark, so 16 11 was pretty disgusting, really. So I've been on it five days now. I mean, it's, it's mental, you know, because already I, I feel slimmer, I feel fitter. Um, you know, doing a lot of walking, a lot of drinking water, eating sensibly, and I'm going to do it. You know, my wife's doing it also, so it's not like, you know, she could eat pie and chips and not put a, a pound on. I can look at pie and chips and put out the stone on. So there's a big difference between us, but she's helping me. Uh, but definitely, I, um, I want to be fitter and healthier. Uh, and that's the plan for 2020. Last one from me. Are you slightly worried about this Premier League campaign in relation to 
you've got to be somewhere on a thir Wednesday, yeah. then Thursday, then Friday for a Euro tour, then back home for a day. Is that a slight concern because you haven't done it before? It's not, it's not the concern that I haven't done it before. I'm a real home bird. Uh, I, I love being at home. It's been great in Sally Pally. It's going to be tough to be away five days a week. But listen, you know, people work away to, to feed the families, people do whatever. You know, people are on minimum wage thinking, you, you know, Glenn stopped mourning. So um, I'd be lying if I said I'm excited about being in umpteen Premier Inns over the next few months, but um, this is what it's about. I'm in the Premier League, it's, everything is positive right now, and uh, you're looking at the happiest Glenn Durant uh, th th there's ever been. It's happy times. Glenn, absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you, Phil, as always.